It wasn't. Yeah. It? Uh, I have a I have a theory about his death. Right. Because. Oh, by the way, uh, this is great now because finally we can shed some light on this yeah. because. Yeah. It's <laughs> <Exclusive. laughs> <Pull this out. laughs> I th- I think right. There's a lot of stuff in both the records, Biggie and Tupac, that you could, as with a lot of hip hop, take as being gay. You know, I'm yeah. gonna tear your ass up, all that kind yeah. of stuff. But when you look at the big diss tracks they did about each other, I think there's sort of more going on. So, Long Kiss Good Night. Yeah. Remember the last album, yeah. Biggie. I mean, that's a funny thing to say for a star, <laughs> yeah. right? I'm gonna I'm gonna outline the theory. <laughs> right? I just, that, <laughs> can I have a long kiss? Good night? <laughs> To, I mean, to your to your mortal enemy, right? Yeah, no. uh, I make your mouthpiece obese like Della Reese. When I release, you lose teeth like little cease. Right. So mm. he's talking about his coming in coming in his mouth, mouth so much that he yeah. loses teeth. And he's saying like little cease, who's yeah. on his record Junior label. Matthew, so he's like, yeah. that's what I'm doing to him. I'm also wow. possibly doing oh it to uh, blood flood your dungarees. So he's talking about Tupac, you know, always wore dungarees, right? <laughs> and perhaps he's fucked him so hard that he's, he's bleeding. Yeah. Um, and there's various. He's kept his dungarees on. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Really that's powerful. Yeah. That's hardcore. <laughs> uh, motherfuckers mad because I blew. Niggas envious. Too many niggas on my dick. Shit strenuous. Uh, and there's loads and loads of references to various kind of gay stuff uh, throughout it um, but when Tupac the, the record he's responding to is hit him up right yeah. mm. Tupac says I fucked your wife I'm gonna kill you pretty much right he says it all very openly in the video it's really up front yeah. mm. the one bit where he puts his hand over his mouth like I shouldn't have said that if you remember it's the bit where he goes uh, I had to try to persuade a bitch to let you sleep in the house. And you're like, what's yeah. what, what's upsetting about that? You've just threatened to kill the guy. You've said you fucked his wife. Why is this referring to this instance something that you shouldn't do? Yeah. And is it that Tupac and Biggie were gay together? That they were gay lovers? Right? And did they have each other killed so that they could be together? <laughs> or pretend to have each other killed? Oh right, my there's, God. Good. there's various clues in the songs. Um, Long Kiss Goodnight, the other one in that album. <laughs> By the way, is this a theory? <laughs> is, this, is this a theory that I've never heard this theory? No, so this, this is, is not, my theory. This is your <laughs> own. <laughs> right? This is. Have you heard? I've not. No, I've never heard. There is when did you stru- stumble upon this theory? How long have you been holding this theory? I sort of thought of it like a few days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepless nights. I thought I'm going into this podcast, and if I can download song lyrics, uh, it'll be fun. Um, there's a bit. He also says a few times on the D-Lo uh, is a thing uh, Biggie says, which. And that's a very specific thing. That means a guy who's gay, secretly, but married. Right. So that's, where that, that's where that phrase comes from. Being on the down low was like oh, a Harlem know that. phrase. Yeah. Um, you're, this, that is definitely, you're not reverse engineering this. No, no, that's true. Okay. That's true. All right. Just um, got to double check. You hope you don't mind. I can't just accept your theory on face value. So even if you don't accept my theory, um, you're nobody <laughs> till somebody kills you. It's interesting from the point of view if you believe that Biggie had Tupac killed. Yeah. Because there's lots of things in it uh, that refer to the murder uh, where he's talking about only the feds I fear so he's kind of like maybe hinting I left the state right, that's, right, that's right. why I would fear the feds is you've committed an interstate crime and you know one of the theories is Biggie was there yeah. for the murder didn't participate in it but turned up and gave them a gun um, yeah this is the interesting bit incidents like this presumably Tupac's murder I take trips lay up in Miami with Tamika and Tammy some Creole bitches I met on tour Push a peach legend coop Gold teeth galore Told me to meet them in the future later They'll take me shopping Buy me lavender and fuchsia gators <laughs> So he said <laughs> While Tupac has been murdered Or while we're pretending to have Tupac been murdered yeah. I'm off with these two women Who are almost like personal shoppers yeah, yeah, yeah. They're taking Biggie out mm. To buy fuchsia coloured Alligator shoes For yeah. something that he's doing later right so i think perhaps biggie and tupac are going off to live a, a gay life together right so i think it being the 20th anniversary they're going to reappear this year 
right? right. They need to be on the, they have the biggest worldwide audience. So it's going to be the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> right? They're going to come on and do a duet. You're like, well, they're, they're never, they're not European. Where have they been living? Where have they've, they been well, living? They've got, they? I'll tell you, they've yeah. got all this money. Mm. Yeah. Right? How have they managed to get onto the Eurovision Song Contest? Mm. They've got all their royalties. Yeah. What they've done is they've destabilised the economy of Greece. <laughs> 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 so that they can appear as their Eurovision Song Contest yeah. entrance this year, 20th anniversary. And uh, I think the hologram is to get us used to the idea. So right, the hologram's right, right. Yeah, like, yeah. don't freak out when I come back on the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> and they'll come out this year and it'll be like, I, I mean, I don't know what they've got planned, yeah. but like, presumably Biggie's been working out. You reckon Probably he's lost some weight? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, reckon, I reckon he's tried. Right, right, right. Yeah, I yeah. reckon. Yeah, because it doesn't get easier, you know. And also, they can get anyone for that gig. Like Barbara Streisand might marry them on stage or something. <laughs> at the time, they've come out now because gay marriage is legal now. Yeah. yeah. So they're waiting they're for the right time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a very tense time. I mean, that's probably why all the anger. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, first album, Ready to Die, <laughs> then Life After Death. <laughs> mm. Life what's after that, death. What's that joint? Com- what's <laughs> like, that joint comeback album called? Um, we're out and we don't care. Or something. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's entirely in Greek. The title. <laughs> <laughs> the whole, it's a really brittle description of yeah. classical homosexuality, yeah. but in Greek. Yeah, it makes sense. It's Greece, like Greek. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all adding up, man. Mm-hmm. California love refers to their LA sort of affair or whatever when they yeah, used to just they first met. Rodeo Drive or whatever, just yeah. like. <laughs> it, it all adds up, man. But they, they probably just saw it all as that was the sexual tension between us that the whole mm. the whole rivalry came from. And then afterwards, people have taken that for real. You know, people are still doing that. And like Biggie and Tupac must be sitting in Greece, wherever they are, yeah. just watching that going, what is, is everybody fucking gay? <laughs> I thought it was just us. No, we didn't have to go. <laughs> like, you know, the game seems to be gay for G Unit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of Jay Z's lyrics are quite homosexual, aren't they? Like he says things like "I never had love for a woman," shit like that. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, <laughs> it's pretty like loads of them. I mean, if there was some sort of Tupac, Biggie, Jay Z threesome thing going on, that you could like bolt onto that theory. That and then good. Beyonce does an album about how he's cheated on her. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god! <laughs> <laughs> Sangria, the follow-up to <laughs> Lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>